Welcome to another edition of MCAT Strategy. Today we will be going over the topic of MCAT study on the go. When I was studying for my MCAT, I had some dead time, mainly when I was on the transit going to my class and when I was volunteering and when the volunteering was really slow. So as the day got closer, I became more anxious and wanted to find ways to quickly study while I'm on the go. First, I will just go through some general things about studying on the go that you can do for yourself, and then I will look at some commercial products that are designed for people on the go. The first way to study on the go is flashcards. A lot of people are fans of flashcards because they're quick and they're discreet. They're very portable and making them can be a form of study and is often a form of study that some students use. So you can make your own flashcards and you can do definitions, formulas, practice questions, anything you'd like on the f actual flashcards. One way to make flashcards is to use both sides of the card. For example, having a key term on one side and a definition on the other, or the name of a theory on one side and a formula on the other side. Another tip when making flashcards is to use a sturdy material. Use, try using cue cards because they're cut to a convenient size and using a sturdy material will help to combat the wear and tear that comes with carrying them around. When you are making these flashcards, make sure you focus on your weaknesses as I've always said in my videos. The only drawback to using flashcards is it can be sometimes time consuming in making these flashcards, so be selective. Try doing it on computer, print out the definitions and then quickly uh, cut them out and tape them onto a piece of uh, cue card and that way it speeds up the process because writing out flashcards can be quite time consuming. One common method of memorizing material is using dictation learning and is most important for mem memorizing facts and formulas and not so good for reviewing concepts per se. It's mainly for rote memory work. Basically what this involves is recording yourself stating the concept and then after a brief pause reciting the formula or definition. Then you listen to it and recite it in your mind and you want to work up to being able to listen to the concept and then pausing it, going over the formula and definition in your mind, then playing the answer and checking it against what you said in your head and making sure that they match up. A lot of smartphones nowadays can d display documents and that way you can carry MCAT study material anywhere you go. And the things that I recommend you put on your smartphone are summary charts, definitions, and formula sheets. Things that have a lot of information at a glance without a whole lot of actual text because it is difficult, more difficult to read on your cell phone. The first commercial product that I will be reviewing for purposes of studying on the go is Kaplan MCAT in a Box. What it is is a box of science flashcards and there are 700 of them in all and they are quite colorful and well made. The pros of this product is that it saves time because you don't have to make your own flashcards and the definitions are clear and they are business size which makes them discreet and portable. The cons is that it does cost uh, $36 Canadian which may be pricey for some people. The other thing I would like to have seen are some practice questions on the actual cue cards because the the science flashcards are mostly definitions. So I just pulled some pictures off the internet. This is what the box looks like and this is an example of one of the flashcards with the concept on the front and the definition on the back of the card. 
The other commercial product that I'd like to review for the purposes of MCAT study on the go is Exam Crackers MCAT Audio Osmosis. What it is is 12 audio CDs covering the science of the MCAT and obviously audio CDs you can carry around and listen to it on the go especially in, on place, in places like on the bus. The pros are it has hours of good content that is a great supplement to regular studying and it is easy to listen to on the go. It is clear and concise and saves, your, saves you some time from having to record dictation audio on your own. The major drawback of this product is its cost. It costs 150 Canadian which is a lot of money and if you are interested in this product I would recommend getting it second hand from a friend, eBay, Amazon, wherever because that way you'll get it for cheaper and you know used CDs are basically like new CDs. Another drawback is it does have a list of errors on its website for certain tracks and this product is a, a bit dated because it came out a while ago. It would be good if Exam Crackers updated the uh, the tra tracks with errors and made it available in a format other than CDs because very few people use CD players nowadays. Those are just some ways that you can study on the go. Any suggestions, comments, or discussion is welcomed. As always, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, keep on practicing. This is MCAS Strategy, logging off.